Okay, so let's take a look at how you can connect the smart sheet with Power BI. So first thing you can sign up to smart sheet. I have like 30 days of trial because after that it will go for paid plan, right? So I'm testing this out with one of the free accounts and here as you can see I have uploaded one of the sheets and if I click on it, it should open in spreadsheet view looks pretty much similar to Google Sheets and here you can see the column name and your columns right and here we have like four columns ID name profession SSN so this is the data that I wish to import however you may notice that this data may or may not be useful within Power BI right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload one of the spreadsheet to Smartsheet and then connect that with Power BI. Okay, as you can see, this is the sample data, which is financial sample that I have downloaded from official Microsoft site. And here you can see the multiple columns that we are going to make use of within Power BI. Right, so I will close this and here let's go back to our smart sheet right now if i go to the folder where we have like one of these spreadsheet what i can do is i can go to the this particular folder i'll just select on it and here you have like actions right once you select this you can run the action within this particular sheet but we need to upload so i will click on create and here what i can do is import microsoft excel here i will choose the file right and then import it it should appear like this so sheet name is ssn so we'll try to find the different sheet considering we already have it here now here there is another sheet which is financial sample that I showed you earlier I will continue with that now here it says financial sample instead you can rename that to financial report these are the columns as you can see you can choose to display or ignore as you want right then I will click import and it will be within the folder right as you can see if I select on it it will open it in smart sheet view now it will look something like this i will try to check one of these columns here right now we have our columns ready with the values what we can do is we can import it within our power bi desktop okay so for those who have like power bi cloud version you can log into that within your browser and you can also upload it there the spreadsheet that we connected which is through Smartsheet you can use that now here you can see you choose to use this particular sample we need to connect it with our Power BI so for that I will open the Power BI desktop then click get data right then click more and it will open dialog box we have to wait for that so here it is get data so i will click on smart sheet and once we select that we can click connect now here it will remind you or more like warn you that you are connecting to third party service connector now this means you have to manually connect this in another browser so once you click continue you will get another dialog box now here it will ask you to sign in which will open up your default browser on desktop so click sign in and it will open up a window now here we will be adding our details and clicking continue 
now here I will click sign in now we will try and see if my account credentials are gone wrong or something yes so my email seems to have gone wrong now I can click sign in and see if that logs me in so it should work now after trying out multiple attempts I managed to get in here I will have to allow the access now I will click allow and it will connect with the smart sheet now here you can see it will ask you to also use another user if you want and next option is connecting here now it is connected we will take a look at the available sheets that we can use so we have like multiple spreadsheets one is SSN which doesn't have useful data second is now second is financial report and here you have like this data I can load this as is but a lot of that won't be required so what I will do is I will just go to transform data and it will open a DAX editor right within DAX editor what we can do is can simply take a look at the available rows so let's see if I remove this particular row by clicking remove it will be gone next we don't need discount band I will remove that too then we have manufacturing price we'll keep that gross sale discount sales cox and profit date month name and year right so what we can do is we can load this data as is so we will just say apply right or you can say save and apply okay there is an option at the top save or close and apply or just apply so close and apply so that the deletion we did will be applied and the data will be loaded within the fields to the right so what we will do is we manage to put up the spreadsheet from smart sheet option here and next option would be to basically load this right so if we consider this particular report with 700 rows are loaded into the fields we'll try and draw month versus sale type of graph here right so we have like fields here and here as you can see right we have this particular month name and sales right these two things let's see how it works by default right and it will look something like this okay now if I try to draw this with line chart and here you will see default month you have and sales so you will notice there is a huge decline over a month right if you try and add additional things you can also add profit but I'm sure it will show you the profit within here so profit is at the bottom and then you can also take a look at the gross sales right so like this we managed to get the data on our power bi and that was from our smart sheet right so hopefully you get the idea how to connect your smartsheet.com account with power desktop power bi desktop how to get the data into the DAX editor and then try and draw a simple line chart out of the data that we have as you can see if you want to manually have this chart you can also always edit some of these properties and view it 
right you can also here on particular x-axis you can always add here which will go right over here right so this will show something like this right if you don't want always use clothes it will get back to normal so overall i hope you get idea on how to connect your smart sheet data to power bi desktop